In this video, I'm gonna show you the fastest, easiest and smartest gateway to increase the FPS or frames per second instantly for free. Let's go. Hey, how is it going guys? Robin here on Chips Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming. On this channel, you'll find PC components, tech gadgets and console accessories, as well as product reviews. See so if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna look at uh, the easiest ways to increase your performance for free on desktop PC, as well as on gaming laptops. With that said, let's get started. So, number one, make sure you're always this, sitting on the latest GPU driver amd and nvidia are constantly working on increasing the performance on various games around the clock and they are putting out updates every now and then that increases the performance in various games you always let me say that again always want the latest drivers installed a solid tip to guarantee you never miss an update is to download either geforce experience if you're on the green team nvidia or if you're sitting on the radeon graphics card from amd you want to get something called radeon software these programs will out of detect whenever a new driver becomes available and send you a notification to help you stay up to date never miss a driver again it's a must especially if you're gaming on older hardware a few extra frames can make the difference between a fluid fun experience experience and a stutter non-playable experience that's it number two every once in a while make sure to clean your dusty case fans don't work as efficient when there is dust in there and i gotta say guys i resurrected pcs in the past where owners thought they needed new parts but all they needed were a good clean case instead be careful of using vacuum cleaner inside your case however i highly recommend using compressed air on tube which can be picked up almost everywhere but i've linked up one below from amazon that is pretty awesome all right number three get razer cortex razer cortex is a software that uses various methods to clear up ram in your system before running your game assuring better performance and higher frame rate yes you most likely are able to clean your ram without this software but this method is just so much easier this is basically cortex at a glance unlock your system's full potential with a variety of performance enhancing and optimizing tools for higher frames per second or to cut down on boring load times whenever you want an automated solution or to keep control over everything higher pc gaming performance is at your fingertips here guys and that's about it number four when your case is dust free you can actually gain plenty of performance by overclocking your gpu core and your gpu memory on your graphics card this might sound complicated guys but don't worry this is just a few button clicks away to get more frames for free you download a software called msi off the burner despite the name it works with almost every graphics card out there before you start overclocking whoever jump over to google and find out what settings you should aim for by googling your graphics card name followed by safe OC always start by increasing the clock speed by small steps at a time to make sure your system is fully stable guys i gotta say this isn't rocket science save yourself the money and give overclocking a go before buying a new one the drawback with overclocking of course higher temperatures so make sure you got a clean dust free case before trying overclocking now should you worry about breaking or damaging your gpu by overclocking it gpus are a lot more durable than you might think as long as you're not messing with voltage and such you're more than safe here i've been overclocking gpus for over 10 years never ever broke anything don't worry guys all right so number five if your system is old and rusty and you've done everything up to this point depending on how old your system is getting a new graphics card is the best investment you can make 
to get better frame rate. I actually made a video the other day where I tested a 10 year old CPU versus a 1 year old CPU and I found some pretty interesting details. I linked that video down below but basically the graphics card is 9 times out of 10 the bottleneck when you're seeing low frame rate. Kinda stress that enough if your budget is tight go to the used market there are plenty of graphics cards laying around on ebay for example i also made a video on the best budget graphics cards available right now i'll link that down below for you guys as well now number six this is my last tip and if you're still here then i suggest you to do yourself a favor and look for a better pc altogether in many cases a new graphics card can make wonder for your gaming experience but if your system is super old let's say 10 plus years old you're better off getting a new fresh pc altogether i made plenty of videos on this subject i'll link a few down below but to be frank it is not worth it spending hundreds of dollars on the new graphics cards if you're sitting on a dual core cpu the processor will bottleneck the system and it's simply just not worth it anyway have a look down in the description guys i've lined up some really awesome pc builds for you that will all handle the latest pc games out there such as fortnite battlefield 5 halo infinite fallout 76 and anthems now what are your best tips for better gaming performance i'm dying to hear your best tips guys and what i might have missed here again thank you for the support we're kicking off the giveaway pretty soon you don't want to miss that in the meantime have an awesome day right bye